おいいたか目にだけで十分ですよ<笑> Gantz It's a science fiction mature manga that was released in Weekly Young Jump that ran from June 2000 to June 2013. It was released in 37 single volumes, but those are extremely hard to find in English. Dark Horse released an omnibus version in 2018 that has 12 volumes that are at normal price. Gantz is about a high schooler named Chrono K and his childhood friend, Masaru Kato, as they are forced to take part in a game where they and a group of random people are tasked with hunting down various aliens. All under the watchful eye of a black ball named Gantz. I know that plot sounds crazy, and well, it is, but it only gets more insane from there. There are people with psychic powers, vampires, a psychopath, a panda who ends up becoming friends with a psychopath, and samurai aliens. So yeah, the plot gets a little crazy. Behind all this, there's some really heartfelt themes about family, love, self sacrifice, and humanity as a whole. So I recommend experiencing Gantz by starting with the manga. And bringing it all the way through, including the four special chapters that are unrelated to the main story. There is an anime, but the animation kind of sucks and it has a non canon ending, so I recommend staying away from it. After you read the manga, there are three paths that you can go down if you want to experience more Gantz. You can read Gantz G, which is kind of a retelling where all the characters are gender swapped. It's a little weird, but it's not the worst thing in the world. You can also read Gantz E, which is a new take on the series with all new characters. It's set in Edo, Japan, and it is still updating monthly. Unfortunately, there is no official way to read this, so you're gonna have to use manga decks. There's also a movie called Gantz O. Gantz O is a 3D CG movie, which covers the Osaka arc of the manga. There are non canon parts of the movie, which is why I don't recommend watching it before reading the manga. The manga decks link will be in the description.